Well, thank you, and it's great to see everyone here today on a beautiful Monday morning in the Capital Region. I really want to thank our great Commerce Deputy Secretary, Don Graves. When I asked him to come, he didn't hesitate. He said, I want to see what's going on here at CREATES. Uh, I want to thank our governor. We're in partnership to make New York the semiconductor capital of the country. And uh, <laughs> the capital region is going to play a hugely prominent role in that uh, as we move forward. Um, I want to thank also, of course, Doug Gross, chair of New York Creates. They have done an amazing job. We'll talk about it in a while. But this place is unique in the world, unique in the world. And it's going to position us uh, in, in a great way. And Paul Kelly, the COO of New York Creates. Paul, where are you? I saw you before. There you are. We have our SUNY interim chancellor. I knew, knew her many years. She did a great job as president of SUNY Oswego, and it's great that she is now serving as interim SUNY chancellor, and that is Deborah Stanley. We have, well, mentioned already, but why not twice? Uh, we have two great leaders in this county who have helped us in every way when we have uh, worked to bring jobs uh, in, in these kinds of areas, semiconductors, but in so many other ways. Our county executive, Dan McCoy, and our mayor, Kathy Sheehan, so thank you again. And somebody who's one of the most dynamic leaders in our state legislature uh, on this issue and so many others, Pat Fahey. So thank you as well. Um, I also want to thank all of the representatives from the groups. What's unique about this place, among many others, is it's public, as uh, was mentioned, which means the research here, companies do research, but they keep it for themselves. But the research done here will spread and do much more good than if it was just located for one company. And they have many partnerships that are part of New York Creates, uh, including uh, IBM, Tokyo Electronics, Applied Materials. Just raise your hand if you're from another company and part of uh, this uh, suppose. Well, they didn't come. Come on. Oh, there they come. Don't be modest. Thank you. OK, so we're here with a simple message. New York is ready to power the future of America's chip industry. And with a boost from the federal government, Albany Nanotech can supercharge our R&D research and manufacturing. And if we become the hub for the nation's first ever National Semiconductor Technology Center, it will be an amazing shot in the arm, not just for the capital region, but for New York State. And that's what I aim to do. And that's why I asked Secretary Graves to come to see how unique this is. Now, let me just say this. The national hub <clears throat> that we are seeking would mean over 1,000 jobs, cutting edge jobs, making the cutting edge technology of semiconductor research and development in the world. And that will mean that other companies will want to come here, people will, researchers will want to come here, universities will want to be here. It will be like a magnet attracting the best and the brightest in semiconductor research. So it's a huge, huge opportunity, one of the greatest opportunities that we've ever had uh, in the capital region. And we are here because we believe that Albany Nanotech is far and away the best place in the country to locate this new National Semiconductor Technology Center. As I said, it would be a game changer for this area. We've long had a history of manufacturing innovation in upstate New York and here in the capital region. We're the birthplace of IBM, which has played an instrumental role here uh, at Albany Nanotech. And uh, we, we are home to some of the most shovel-ready sites for chip investment in the country. When I wrote the USICA, the United States Innovation and Competition Act, I included funding for the creation of the first National Semiconductor Technology Center in the country. And guess what was on my mind when I wrote that? A six-letter word, A-L-B-A-N-Y. <laughs> 
And so when the bill passed, I asked Secretary Raimondo, our great, great Commerce Secretary, to come to Albany and meet with the stakeholders and hear everything that Albany and upstate New York have to offer. Now it's time they see the wonders behind the Albany Nanotech Complex up close and how New York has all the ingredients to power and revive the U.S. chip industry right here in the capital region. So it's time for the Commerce Department to know what we have known for a while, that Albany Nanotech's combination of national partnership, existing infrastructure, and a world-class workforce are perfectly situated to become the nation's first NSTC and bring literally thousands of jobs here to the capital region, both direct and indirect. And I want to just say this. Um, Secretary Graves has been a great champion for the industry. So we're not dealing with somebody who doesn't have great knowledge of what we need. And we are confident, I don't want to put words in his mouth, that someone who has great knowledge of this will understand that there's only one place for this center to be, and that is right here. Um, and uh, let me just say this. He also has experience. He was head of corporate responsibility for Key Bank, and he worked in the economic policy uh, area. He was director for Vice President Biden in the Obama administration. So he has a lot of experience. When you go on a tour here, you see amazing things. They have machinery that makes the most advanced semiconductor chips that is almost no other place. In fact, you may have read in the news that there is a Dutch machine that does this, that's made in Holland, and the Chinese are eager to get it. But guess who has it already here? And we're telling the Dutch, actually, as a government policy, we do not want the Chinese to get it, because then they can leap ahead of us in the semiconductor research where we now lead. So the machinery here is amazing. The personnel, we have some of the greatest cutting edge uh, scientists and professors here. And there are partnerships with RPI and, many, and SUNY, of course, but also MIT and many other universities across the country. Because everyone wants to be part of collaborating on the most cutting edge research that we have. And that's what they're doing. They're making these these chips, smaller and smaller, I was told on a little chip about the size of your thumbnail, there can be 50 billion transistors. <laughs> Is that incredible? But when you take the tour, they have the machines and the technology to do just that. And that makes our companies more efficient, and it allows products to eventually come to people, uh, to, to even average consumers that are cheaper and more effective. So. What it means here is we have to invest in new technology. If we want to stay number one in semiconductor research, in these, new, in these cutting edge chips, we have to invest. We have to invest in manufacturing, and I am working hard to lure some of our companies to many sites in upstate New York. Of course, Global Foundries, which I was very much involved with from the get-go, is building another new plant right here, employing uh, another more, thousands more as they do their research, but there are other locations in Utica and Syracuse and in between Rochester and uh, uh, Buffalo uh, in Batavia in Genesee County that are also shovel ready and ready to go. And let me say this, the fact that we have this research here at Albany Nanotech, the fact that we can gain the National Semiconductor Technology Center will help us create and bring literally thousands and thousands and thousands of good manufacturing jobs here to upstate New York as well. So it's sort of a one-two punch uh, that's important. The great research here, as well as um, the ability to expand that into manufacturing. So for nearly 20 years, Albany Nanotech has partnered with companies of all sizes and right here in Albany, just to show you, we're not just talking out of our hat. This is the first place where they fabricated the seven nanometer microchip. That's one billionth of a meter. Incredible. And then they built the first five nanometer chip. And as if they couldn't get any smaller, last summer, Albany, in partnership with IBM, built the first two nanometer microchip, the smallest microchip ever, the most effective, efficient microchip ever in the world developed right here in the capital region. That's why we 
are so proud of what's happened here, and we have such high hopes for what can happen here in the future, bringing us to even bigger and be better things. Uh, as I said, um, Secretary Raimondo was here and very impressed. And believe me, I'll be whispering and not so whispering in her ear all the time about this. But we first got to pass the USICA bill, which we're making great progress on. Um, uh, the House had had, they had slowed it down a little bit. It passed bipartisan. It was sponsored by myself and uh, Todd Young, a Republican from Indiana, passed with a significant bipartisan vote. The House couldn't quite figure out what to do, but now they have, so USICA is on its way. And uh, we're very optimistic it will be passed, and that will have the funding for the National Center, which we hope to land here in Albany. So in short, uh, Albany is home to the NSTC is a win-win-win. It's a win for the Commerce Department and the United States because it will allow us to, to again, lead the world right here in the Capital Region on semiconductor research. The most cutting edge newest research would be done here because there's no other place like this in the country. It will be a win for the capital region because it's simple, but NSTC means lots of new jobs here in this region. But it will also be a win for science, a win for the progress that we have to keep making going forward by producing more effective, more innovative products. And semiconductor chips are at the root of so many of them, whether it be your, your, your phone or your car or anything else. We need to have these chips made here. So the site is ready to begin working is, be is ready to begin work immediately. Uh, we were shown by the um, director. Uh, just new places they can expand. They have the land and the ability to expand. And so I'm really, um, I'm really excited about this. So f let me introduce uh, somebody who at the state level has done a lot. In fact, in her state uh, budget, she put more money for uh, semiconductor research. I'm proud to say that was federal money, like much of the money in the state budget. Um, but it's going to go to great use, and I have a great deal of confidence when, when the federal government gives the state money, it will be well used for the right things under Governor Hochul's leadership. So without further ado, let me call on the governor. 